It's lunchtime, and this is Brad Anderson's Lunch Break. If you work with technology, you've probably been to more than a few conferences in Orlando. When I got invited to speak at Citrix Synergy, I booked a flight and called a few really smart people to meet up for lunch. Today I finished talking with Mark Bowker, Senior Analyst and Mobility Expert at ESG. organizations moving to a solution where they're going to start using their smartphones even more than PCs? I do. So I've, I've been a believer in this one for a while. So we did some research about this and we asked that. Cool. Can we do this? Is, you know, over 50% said they'd be either likely or very interested in that exact thing. So here's the problem. We walk around with way too many devices. It's crazy, right? I, I open my bag and I've got, you know, a couple laptops, tablets, Tablet, everything. Your phone. And I think that's changing. And I think this is why. So remember the day, Brad, you know, when you got your first computer and you're excited to get your corded mouse? I think that keyboard and mice as an input still very important. But if I could take my phone and essentially dock it yeah. with the bigger screen and have mouse and keyboard, I think it's great. But now all of a sudden we go somewhere, I want touch enabled. They're so powerful what I can do. And then the other thing I think I see that you're gonna see more and more is really voice and vision, right? Now I've got keyboard and mouse docked yep. with a big screen. I've got touch enabled if I'm kind of just have to do something quick in between things. And now I think what you'll see is voice and vision. Now I'll be able to speak command. I bet this is already how you work. It is, it's totally how I mean, this is, this is, this really is how is. I work as well. It's totally is. I talked to PJ about this in case, so, uh, <laughs> so we, have, we have permission to talk about this. All right, all right. It's a game we call this or that. <laughs> and so I'm gonna give you two nouns or two objects. Yep. And then I'm gonna give you a set of phrases and you're gonna say, which is it describing? Is it one, is it two, or is it both? Okay. Okay, and the topic here is gonna be the Citrix Partnership or Alligator Farms. It has been going strong for over 25 years. Can I say both? Absolutely, <laughs> that's both. the right answer. <laughs> Full of remorseless reptiles. I'm gonna, oh man, I wanna say Citrix Race. <laughs> <laughs> Alligator Farm. Okay, all right, you're being politically correct. I get it, all right. If you've ever seen it in person, it's incredible, but there's a lot more laying around than you expected. I would really hope that that's the alligator farm. <laughs> Occasionally, some of the individuals involved try to rip each other's heads off. I think that I'm in, uh, that's just in good spirit of anything. So I'd say that's both. That's I right. think that's good for business and, yeah, you've got passion. If right? you're passionate, you're gonna have, you're gonna have passionate conversations. Because yeah. okay, so you mentioned your boys. Yep. With what you see happening right now in the market, all this view that you have, mm -hmm. what kind of career advice are you giving them? Those are some interesting conversations. The number one career advice I give them, and they're, by the way, they're 9, 13, so think about it. They're young boys, their brain's still growing. The number one thing I talk about, Brad, is communication. They are going to be able to differentiate themselves so much amongst the other kids, and when they go to get a job, they can communicate well. Because how are they communicating now? They're looking their down phone. at their device. It's on their Xbox and I have Live. Rules. Yeah, I have rules. If you're gonna communicate with somebody on your phone, when you see them in person, you have to speak with them. And you have to shake their hand, and you look in their eye, and you communicate well. So I think that's the biggest thing that I think is gonna help differentiate wow. those kids to really help them as they grow up. That's a really good perspective. When I meet with college students, one of the things I tell them is you know your communication skills no matter whether you're an engineer whether you're a salesperson whether you're marketing whatever you're always selling you have to be selling an idea selling a new architecture selling yes. a product but you yes. are always selling yes. in communication written verbal yeah. well it has been awesome to spend some time together again yeah. and it seems like we'll see each other you know two three times a year absolutely yeah. thanks for the ride in the big truck <laughs> Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> like, maybe we'll get a bigger truck next time, yeah. faster car, motorcycle, I, motorcycle oh, and sidecar. You know, so maybe maybe the next one will be on segways. Okay, let's we'll start planning it. <laughs> All right, Mark. Thank, thank you, you, Brad. So Have a great day. Yeah. Have you a great too. synergy, too. Thanks. We will. We will. Looking forward to it. All right, bye-bye. Next time on Brad Anderson's Lunch Break. You know, I had a green field of technology, and I took that as a responsibility. I, I could go safe, but why would you build stuff you know that you're gonna have to be replacing very soon. That's an example that you could never do without the power and the capabilities that the cloud brings. Yeah. Because you know AI and all these things, it really is processing over an incredible amount of data. The amount of compute that you have to have in order to do that, you need to spin that up and spin that down on demand. Yeah.